Greetings. I would like to welcome you to our daily weekday Mass, held here at the National Shrine of St. Therese on the Carmelite campus in Darien, Illinois. The Carmelites cherish praying and celebrating with you. This shrine is the blessing of a generous gift from the Margie and Robert Peterson Foundation. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we come together today to celebrate the feast day of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the patroness of the Americas, uh, let us remember today that we are also uh, remembering Maxwell Bajanko and thanksgiving for the Abarca family. As we come together today, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, who placed your people under the singular protection of your Son's Most Holy Mother. Grant that all who invoke the Blessed Virgin of Guadalupe may seek with ever more lively faith the progress of peoples in the way of justice and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was open, and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert, where she had a place 
prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed. The word of the Lord. You are the highest honor of our race. Blessed are you, daughter, my, by the Most High God, above all the women on earth. And blessed be the Lord God, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. You are the highest honor of our race. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the patroness of the Americas, Our Lady of Guadalupe. And as many of you are aware, she appeared to now Saint Juan Diego uh, over a course of days. Juan Diego's feast day is celebrated on December 9th. Uh, so she appeared to him over a three-day period uh, that led to today's celebration of December 12th. And as she appeared to him, uh, one of the things that we always need to take into account is what was happening at the time in Mexico City. We might remember that the Spanish had um, come into Mexico City in this time, and within a short amount of time after their arrival, uh, the city of Mexico City, which once had a million people, had about 100,000 people. So a large portion of the population had died, um, many of them because of smallpox, but others because, as they say, a broken heart. Because, as we know, their culture uh, was totally changed with the arrival of the Spanish. And one of the things that was to great chagrin of the bishop and of the priests that were serving there is that the people of Mexico City had not um, really come to have great faith in our Lord. So there was kind of a drag between the time that they came and the time that the people accepted the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. But what happened after the appearance of Our Lady to St. Juan Diego was that there was a great flood of people that came to uh, become Christian and came to experience the joys of living a Christian life. So there was the dramatic change. And one of the things that we might remember is that she referred to uh, herself as the mother. Am I not your mother, is what she said to St. Juan Diego. So there was this 
deep understanding that it wasn't us and them. It was all of us together. And she appeared to St. Juan Diego as a mestiza, which meant that she was someone that was both um, of the indigenous race and also of Spanish blood. So that was also a powerful experience. As we know, uh, she was also wearing a belt around her waist, a dark belt, and that was a symbol of her being with child. And we might remember that uh, Our Lady Guadalupe is also the patroness of the unborn. And today's gospel is so fitting for today's celebration because there's this recognition of how Mary goes out to help in times that she is most needed. Elizabeth, as we know, was in her old age. And anyone who has ever experienced a pregnancy knows that it's always wonderful to have someone help. It's even more wonderful when someone can come and actually help you when you're maybe having a difficulty uh, in your pregnancy. So that is a great joy and a great addition. And as we know, Mary stayed with Elizabeth not just for an afternoon, but she stayed with her for a while. And she helped uh, Elizabeth as she brought to birth her own son, John the Baptist. This great sign of the presence of our Lord in our world and the presence of Mary, uh, his mother, as pointing us to him is so important because each one of us um, may have uh, had an experience of Mary's love in our own life an experience of how she speaks to us, of how she protects us, of how she guides us. I've had the opportunity to visit the uh, Basilica of Our Lady Guadalupe in Mexico City on um, several different occasions, and each time it's a powerful experience. Because although I was not there on uh, December 12th, what happens other days of the year and this is happening especially today, is that people come on pilgrimage from all over the, the Latin world, and especially from within Mexico, and many of them literally crawl on their knees to the image of Our, Guad Our Lady of Guadalupe, and it's a powerful experience of faith. It's something that transforms you. When I first saw it, I was like, this is amazing. Who has faith like this? And it really struck me that day and each experience that I had. It's something I'll never forget. And I think for all of us to see that deep expression of faith is so powerful and so bonding. Because Mary is our mother. She gives her very self to us. She wants us to experience her love. She wants us to experience her guidance and her care. She never leaves us behind, but she always points us toward her son. And, you know, we might notice that uh, here in the National Shrine of St. Therese, we added, within the last year, the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe, which is on the way to the Eucharistic Chapel. And it's a reminder for us of her patronage of the Americas, and also, obviously, of those, the protecting, the protector of the unborn. And we live in a nation where that continues to still uh, be an issue that is uh, very polarizing, but it's also something for us to remember that the gift of a child, the birth of a child, is a joy, is a gift. And our Lord desires for us, each one of us, to know how much we are loved as well. And he gives us his mother, Mary, as our mother, to care for us, to protect us, to be with us in our times of greatest need 
and to know that she is always with us. As we hear, am I not your mother? I am always with you. I am always guiding you. I will never leave you. Let us rejoice today in the gift that Mary is in our lives, in the life of our church, and in the life of our nation. Please stand for our prayers of the faithful. Let us remember today uh, those who are least in our world, especially those who do not have enough food to eat, for those who are without hope, and for those who are without faith. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those people throughout the Americas that are celebrating today that the gift of Our Lady Guadalupe to us as North and South America will unify us as brothers and sisters in Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Let's pray for peace in our world, especially in those most troubled areas uh, in the Ukraine and throughout our world where we experience war and turbulence. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those who have requested our prayers, members of the Sai Little Flower, and for their many intentions, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for those who are sick, for those who are in need of healing, for those who are in need of comfort, we pray to the Lord. And let us remember our beloved dead, those who have gone before us, that they may be one with Christ, we pray to the Lord. And let us remember first responders, those in the medical profession, and for our troops moving throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. And let us now bring our own prayers and our own longings before our Father in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Father, we bring all our prayers before you. We ask you to hear them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. Become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, and a work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we present to you on this feast of Our Lady Guadalupe, and grant that this sacrifice may strengthen us to fulfill your commandments as true children of the Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. And when you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a safe sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ, keep me safe for everlasting life.
Let us pray. Lord God, may the body and blood of your Son, which we receive in this sacrament, reconcile us always in your love. And may we who rejoice in Our Lady of Guadalupe live united and at peace in this world until the day of the Lord dawns in glory. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us offer a prayer to Mary, our mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady Mount Carmel, Our Lady of Guadalupe, St. Therese of Lisieux, go in the peace of Christ, the Mass is ended. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.